Hello, folks, and listen, we're nearing the end of the year. This is the last quarter of the year, and one of the things I want to make sure is that you get these seven things done. Number one, you got to get ready for open enrollment, whether you're retired uh, and you have Medicare or because of the Obamacare regulations, or if you're with a big employer that has benefits, and this is the time of the year where you make decisions and you can make changes. If you don't do this, guess what? You screwed up and you got to wait all the way till next year in order to make changes. Okay, so make sure that you get ready for open enrollment, get your information and get it done. Number two is you want to make sure that you review your portfolio and your strategy. Listen, markets have done really well the last five or six years. Okay, um, so you want to make sure that your portfolio is properly allocated and you want to make sure that your portfolio is being rebalanced. You want to also make sure if you're retired that you want to review your income. Are you receiving enough income? Are you receiving income that is realistically that your portfolio is really realistically able to provide. We don't want to catch ourselves in a situation that we're taking out too much money and we're running out of money and then it's too late, okay? Number three, you want to make sure to update your estate planning documents. Let's get one thing for certain. We are all going to die. I know how much we hate to hear that, but we are all going to die. So you want to make sure that if you haven't planned, that you rush out to our estate planning attorneys right now and get your wills and trusts done. If you have planned that, and you have done these documents, then I want you to take them out of the drawer and dust off the, the dust off, off the, the cover and read them again. And understand, are the people involved still around? You know, maybe you're uh, uh, maybe you have somebody who was a beneficiary and they passed away, or they got divorced, or they moved out of the state, or they moved out of the country. Okay, or you don't like them anymore. So you want to make sure that these things are up to date and, again, review your plan and make sure that that's what you want. Number four is get a retirement place and uh, get a retirement plan in place if you're self-employed. You've worked too hard not to do this. And depending on what plan you choose, um, you don't have much time left to put uh, to put one in place. And you want to make sure that you put one in place, not only in order to save taxes, but to put money away for the future. Um, again, you work too hard not to do this. Number five is check your Social Security statement. Um, Social Security had actually stopped mailing statements and actually as, as of next year, they're gonna start mailing these statements again. However, you can go online and make sure, listen, it's the government. The government screws up. So you wanna make sure to go online and make sure that your, uh, that your income is being credited towards your Social Security, and you can check that online in the Social Security website. Next year, however, they'll begin mailing you the, uh, the, uh, the forms again. Number six, you want to track down your old pension plans, your old retirement plans, uh, and understand and think about how many jobs have you had? You know, do you really need five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four, one k plans? You know, you don't. Okay. Where we are now, from a technology standpoint, is that we don't we can consolidate all these plans in one place. It will give you more flexibility. It will give you more choices. It will better choices. It will be less expensive to you, and also at tax time, it'll be easier for you because you have maybe one, two, or three tax forms uh, instead of seventeen. Okay. So consolidate all your old pension plans and retirement accounts now. And seven is get a financial plan, uh, plan in place or update the one you currently have. If you haven't done any planning, then now it's a good time to do it. Again, every January 1st, you wake up and say, this is the year. Now it's the fourth quarter and you haven't done it yet. Well, what are you waiting for? If you do have one, well, you want to make sure that it's still following your goals and objectives, that anything change, anything additional that you want to do, and how does that incorporate into your plan? And you know what? I'm going to add a number eight. Number eight is make sure to read the book, Dirty Filthy Lies My Broker Taught Me and 101 Truths to Money and Investing. Get that book right here. Get it for your friends for Christmas. Okay? So I'll see you next time on Financial QB TV.